Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, yes, this is going to be another Sassy Girl Aroma haul. Now, I have brittles, I have loaves, I have bag of blocks, I have muffins, I have a variety of goodies in this box that I'm super excited to share with you. So without further ado, Let's get into it. This is my order from the April 8th pre-order. Now, if you know, when you get an email from Sassy Girl Aroma that says your order was shipped to UPS, it means you ordered a lot of stuff. So this is my April 8th pre-order. Now, I did say in a previous video that I'm sticking to loaves and brittles, that I'm not purchasing muffins in the future. Well, she had some sense that I was just dying to try in the muffins. So, yeah, that's where that happened. But I will start, as always, with the samples. So she did include two samples in my order. The first one is Frosted Grahams. Now, I assume this is going to smell like a graham cracker scent. I haven't smelled any of these yet. I just unwrapped them. Yeah, this is a very light almost like you took a homemade like graham cracker and drizzled it with a little bit of frosting. Like that icing that you get on the um, uh, toaster strudels, like the ones in the bag, that's kind of what that smells like to me. And then we have Under the Mistletoe, quite an interesting choice for um, May, but hey, you know? And yeah, it smells like Christmas. And it's that mistletoe scent that I really don't care for that sort of leans on like cat urine. I, I do not love the mistletoe oil, so not a fan of that one. <laughs> All right, let's start small and work my way up. I did pick up three of her mini muffins, all in coffee scents, because I am on a journey to find my favorite coffee out there. I have a few that I really, really love, including one from the bathing garden that is like this coconut, really rich and decadent coffee scent. And she had two coffee coconuts offered in this pre-order, which one was offered in the muffin, hence why I picked it up. And this one is Coconut Macchiato. And this says, a cold coffee blend of creamy coconut milk, espresso roast, maple syrup, topped off with cocoa chips and coconut shavings. Now, I love coffee. Coconut's not my favorite, but that coffee coconut scent that I had from the bathing garden was amazing. This is not it. However, this is so good. And if you look at it, it's like the chunks are literally covered in milk. It's amazing. This is definitely... All I can picture is going to, like, a small independent coffee shop and ordering a coconut cold brew, but they're using really fresh steamed coconut milk. It's very, very coffee. However, the coconut milk does overpower and it's a very steamed coconut milk. This is really, really yummy. Not the coffee coconut that I'm looking for, but it's really good. And I think this will be a perfect like summery coconut coffee scent. Next, we have S'mores Coffee, and this one is a strong French roast coffee blend with notes of graham cracker, chocolate, chocolate syrup, and bonfire toasted marshmallow. I was like trying to get those notes out. And this is nice. It's definitely not as strong on the coffee as the other one is. It's a very light, light coffee. I almost <clears throat> can say that this smells like a s'mores frappuccino. If you've ever smelled like the s'mores frappuccino where there's like barely any coffee in there, that's kind of the vibe that this is giving me. It's not a favorite, but once it cures and melts like Sassy Girl Aroma, wait till you see my empties video in this new house, you guys. Insane. The wax performs so much better in my new house than in my old one, and I will... Be excited to try this one out. And then last but not least in the mini muffins is Pumpkin Creamer. A sweet bun originating from Japan. That This fragrance smells of sweet honeydew melon combined with buttery dough. Okay. It's not the description for Pumpkin Creamer. 
That looks like the description for Melon Pan, which I did order. So it looks like this label is a little messed up. So that's not the description. I'm not sure what the description is. Oh my gosh. Julie, if you're watching this, Pumpkin Creamer. Oh my gosh. Yes. And Brittle's in the next pre-order. This is so good. This is a roasty, toasty coffee. And it's almost like the syrup that they're using in the coffee was a roasted pumpkin seed oil. You're getting this, like, nuttiness from a pumpkin seed, which I know a seed is not a nut, but you get that, like, roasty, seasoned, almost, like, buttery nut scent with the pumpkin. This is phenomenal. This is such a great... This instantly put me in a fall mood. Oh, my gosh. This is so yummy. I could possibly even wear this as a perfume. I don't know. This is amazing, though. Holy crap. Pumpkin creamer is a winner. All right. Next, I got a bag of blocks, and I've seen a lot of people talking about these, and I just think they're so cute. They're 7.4 ounces, and they're individual little cubes. So, how great for traveling if you want to travel with your wax. You can just stick this bag in. Now, it is a rip top. I'm not going to open it because the scent that I got it in is one of my favorites, IHOP. I love IHOP. And IHOP is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, and brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. It's like pumpkin pecan waffles 10 levels high. Like, it is pumpkin pecan waffles, caramel, coffee, brown sugar, deliciousness. The best version of pumpkin pecan waffles I've ever smelled. I live for IHOP, and in these blocks, I think it's super exciting. Good for, like I said, traveling. Good for just popping out a cube, a different way of experiencing the wax. Now, this loaf, I was not originally in this order. However, I placed another order with just this loaf because I melted it. And this right here is the reason why you melt your wax and why you try it out. Strawberry cupcakes. The notes are strawberry vanilla cupcake with buttercream frosting. Charity raves about this scent. I smelled it in a brittle. I'm like, yeah, this is nice. I popped this whole entire brittle in my old apartment. You guys. It smells great in the bag. Do not get me wrong. It does smell great. But when you melt this, picture you're going into a very small little cupcake shop, a mom and pop cupcake shop, and they have fresh, special of the day, strawberry cupcakes. And it's a yellow cake. They've hollowed out the middle, and they filled it with fresh strawberries, not the like ooey gooey like glaze that you get in like a strawberry pie or strawberry shortcake, fresh strawberries. And then they put like, they put the cake back in so it's filled with that fresh, fresh picked strawberry. They do a light coating of a buttercream frosting and then they just drizzle a little bit of like a strawberry jam, like almost they macerated those strawberries on a pot and drizzled it in. When you pop this in the warmer, it smells like you're at the bakery and that's the strawberry of, the, the, the cupcake of the day is strawberry cupcakes. It is so good. The cake comes alive. The strawberry notes come alive. I absolutely love this scent. Never want to be anything. I never not want to have this scent in my collection. And I'm actually working on curating my wax collection, melting through a lot of vendors that I don't care for, and I really want to narrow it down to four or five vendors that I absolutely love. So I'm working through a lot of the wax that I'm not super, super into, and just want to work through my stash. But this Strawberry Cupcakes will always be in my collection now. It's fabulous. Oh my gosh. Now, two of the brittles were not from this pre-order. They were from the last pre-order, which I stated, but they did come in this shipment, and it is in Steamy and Dreamy, which is the dupe for the Bath & Body Works plain old Palo Santo. I told Julie about this Palo Santo. I told her, you need to try it. It's one of the best, and it's Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. For one, the details on this brittle, it's like slate blue, light gray, and dark gray. 
it's the dupe for the candle. I don't need to buy the candles anymore. This is literally, I actually have, that's the Pamela Santo candle right here. Right here. It's exactly the same. I burn one of those candles at least once a week in this house. I love, it just like resets the air. It makes everything feel really relaxing and soft. I love steamy and dreamy. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And I decided not to order this in a cologne in this last pre-order. I did order um, Night on the Beach and Perfume instead. But I do want to order this in cologne in the next pre-order because I'm obsessed. All right. Now let's move on to the brittles from this pre-order. There's a lot. First things first, I got four of one scent. Now, full disclosure, this is the scent I feel like a lot of people did not care for. I worked at Bath & Body Works when this fragrance was around, and it's called One and Only. And this is a dupe for the Bath & Body Works scent, You're the One. I fell in love with You're the One at Bath & Body Works, and I have one three-wick candle. They never brought the candle back, and I will refuse to burn it because I've never smelled anything like it. I did end up finding another one, burned that one, and now I am fell in love, saved the one candle. Julie has the dupe for it. Now, the reason why I ordered four, which I would never typically order four brittles of one scent at one time, is because it's a scent I feel like a lot of people don't love. And I'm afraid that it's not going to be offered again. But, I'm telling you... Please, if you order this, tell me what you think. It is beautiful and warm. It Now, I can't speak for Julie's dupe, but the Bath & Body Works candle, when you burn it, it is beautiful. And the notes are white birch, velvety rose, and just a drop of strawberry nectar. You guys. I did open this one and smell this one before. It's exactly it. And I love it. It is a very high-end perfume-like fragrance. It definitely is perfumey. You definitely get rose, but you smell the strawberry and the white birch, which are so different because you figure white birch is more cold, more like fall and winter, strawberry, more spring and summer, rose, more spring, tying it all together to the most beautiful fragrance. Ah, oh, I love this. I love this so much. And again, I know a lot of people don't, which is why I ordered four of them, so I have a stockpile. All right, next we have Red Bean Bun, and now this is one Julie was like, if you like fresh baked bread fragrances, you have to try it, because let me tell you, reading the description, so not my alley, a red bean paste toasted with toasted sweet bread topped off with black sesame seeds. The color's like this really dark maroon and like black and white. Very interesting. So let's see. Hmm. It's bizarre. I don't necessarily smell fresh baked bread. I don't know how I describe it. When you think of like a red bean paste and sesame seeds, it's like, I think it's called tahini because I had an ice cream sandwich from, it's a company in Pittsburgh called Leona's and they have a toasted tahini ice cream sandwich and it's a toasted sesame seed. And that's what this reminds me of. It's very interesting. I don't know how I feel. I'm going to let it sit and cure before I try it, but I don't know how I feel about this one yet. It's interesting. I can't wait to see. I know Natalie from Melt With Nat and Jack got this one, so I'll be very curious to see what she thinks on that one. Next, we have Raspberry Mocha, and this is a delicious cup of dark roasted coffee, vanilla creamer, white mocha swirl, and raspberry syrup topped off with whipped cream. That sounds delicious. Ooh, and it is. Again, not super, super strong on the coffee. I feel like raspberry in coffee is something you either love or you just hate. I don't enjoy it, but I enjoy raspberry scent. I just don't like drinking it because I find that the raspberry syrup is always super artificial and like overly tangy. This smells like raspberry syrup, 
in a very, very, very lightly roasted coffee. Interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but um, yeah, we'll see. It's interesting. Now this one, peanut butter and jelly. Freshly ground peanut butter with grape jelly and a hint of bread. Really fascinating. I love PB&J scents. Ooh, I like this. This definitely smells like the PB2 peanut butter powder, which I've stated before, like a lot of peanut butter scents do smell like that. Great jelly, very, very minimal in the background, and then same with the fresh baked bread. You can tell they're there, but they're in the background. It's definitely a peanut butter powder forward scent. It's yummy, though. I like it. I'm excited to see when I warm this if the bakery notes and that grape jam come out for it. Next, we have melon pan. And yes, this is the description. A sweet bun originating from Japan. This fragrance smells of sweet honeydew melon combined with buttery dough. This is another one that Julie said to give a try to. She's offering a lot of really unique scents lately, which is another reason why I love Sassy Girl Aroma. I love honeydew and wax. I don't smell a ton of honeydew, but I can smell a melon, but it's not super forward. The sweet bread dough is definitely more in the forefront of the scent. It's very different. It's really unique. I don't know where I would melt this. The kitchen? Maybe. Maybe to freshen up a bedroom, but it has that bread note. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. That'll be really cool to see how it, how it, how it turns out. Next, we have deep fried churros, and this is deep fried churros sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar. Pretty simple. This was offered in a mini muffin in one of her pre-orders, and it sold out so fast I missed it. I was not about to miss it again. Wowza. <coughs> this is so strong on cinnamon and sugar. This is definitely red hot cinnamon which I was not expecting. I was expecting a lot more of a bakery cinnamon sugar. This is definitely more red hot cinnamon sugar. And then like a little bit of the yeastiness from the churro. But wow, that's very powerful. That's very powerful. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to be a little bit more of a sweeter scent. It's definitely more of a spiced cinnamon. Ooh, Blackberry Palo. One thing about Julie, I feel like she needs to add a lot more Palo Santo blends, personally, because I love myself some Palo Santo. And this is Palo Santo Wood, Warm Amber, Juicy Blackberry, and Soft Musk. So it's basically the Bath of Body Works Palo Santo mixed with Blackberry. That's so yummy. Oh, oh this is so yummy. The blackberry, super juicy. It's not blackberry jam butter cookie. And sometimes how blackberry, to some, comes off as perfumey. This does not. This is a very, very juicy, rich blackberry. With a hint of that smoky Palo Santo. Oh, so yummy. It's amazing what you can blend with Palo Santo. It really is. And they're all so good. Next, we have fall birthdays. What a fun, fun color. Juicy blueberries, sweet apples, caramel cider, and birthday cake. Yum. This smells like cider lane and birthday cake. I don't really get much blueberry or... Yeah, I don't really get much blueberry. I was going to say your apple, but the cider lane has apple in it. This smells like my beloved cider lane mixed with birthday cake. Mmm. And I'm not complaining. Oh, I love that so much. Wow, that's yummy. Fall birthdays. Love the name, too. Next one, I also have two of. This one is French Press. And this is the other coconut coffee that I was excited to try from her. This is Morning Brew, Coconut Cream, Caramel, Maple Butter, Vanilla Extract, Espresso Beans, Cocoa Chips, and Sugar Cane. Lot going on in here.
This is a very fresh coffee. Ooh! This reminds me of a La Colombe coffee, those like draft coffees that whenever you like open the can, it like not fizzes, but it like releases nitric oxide or something like that, and it or nitrogen, and it really like froths up the coffee, and it almost you get like that cold air when you drink it. That's sort of what this reminds me of. It's a very cold coffee that's like just been made, like a nitro cold brew. Oh, that's yummy. You get a little bit of the coconut, but to me. The coconut in this scent more comes across as a coconut like like a cream. It like it makes it a little bit more sweet like a coconut milk. Next, where's Natalie? Where's my girl? Where's my Jersey girl? The second the second that I saw she was offering a scent called Jersey Girl, I had I had to order this for my girl Natalie. She's from Jersey. We all love Natalie around here. Um, Jersey girl. Had to get it. And this is crispy, buttery puff pastry filled with dreamy vanilla lemon sauce with pink sugar. If Natalie smells like this, I'm coming to Jersey. This smells so good. This reminds me... of a very sweet cake, like a very sweet vanilla cake with pink sugar on top, like pink sugar crystals, but it is the pink sugar perfume. Oh, that's delectable. Oh, Jersey Girl, that's a winner, baby. Love this one. Next, we have Cabana in Belize, a sweet blend of banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands, and this is a dupe for the Bath & Body Works uh, Belize body care, I believe. Oh, and it smells just like it. Uh, that shower gel, you guys, it came out last summer for Bath and Body Works, and it was called Belize. And the second it came out, me and my friend, my ex coworker, we both don't work there anymore. Um, it just smells so good. It's like like a banana daiquiri. Just like it says, it smells like a banana cocktail. But you're captured the essence of the beach without being like suntan lotion. Oh, I love that scent. That's such a good one. Oh, Julie just kills it in the dupe game. And she just kills it in the blend game, the color game, all the games. Next we have I'm Singing the Blues. And this is Blueberry Muffin Serendipity Zucchini. I love serendipity, which is funny because I don't love cherry, but I love serendipity. This is yummy. This smells like serendipity zucchini bread. 100%. Yep, it smells like serendipity zucchini bread together, 100%. Oh, and the zucchini bread is not super overpowering. I don't get a ton of blue blueberry muffin. Mm, maybe a hint of blueberry. It's definitely more zucchini bread and serendipity to my nose. Mmm, that's yummy. If you like serendipity, creamy, creamy coconut, you'll like that. They just keep on coming. Next is bikini time. Now, I'm going to start ordering one that's like totally out of my wheelhouse with um, every order from all the vendors just because I want to experience just some out of my, out of my wheelhouse sense. And this one is bikini time. Tamarind pulp, vitamin C, acai berry, blood orange, orange blossom, and pomegranate. Now, tamarind pulp and vitamin C was really intriguing to me. Wow. This is a very citrusy scent. Like, you're like instantly like woken up when you smell this. It's almost if it was like a, a vitamin C candy. I'm not exactly sure what tamarind pulp or tamarind smells like, but that's interesting. It's a very zingy, zingy citrus. I like it. I just, ooh, that's like very powerful. This is going to be a small dose scent. Ooh. And then my box, besides the business card, is empty. And last is two scoops. And this is Spun Sugar Tonalities of Pink Cotton Candy, Juicy Strawberries, Sweet Berries, and Plump Red Ripe Globe Grapes. 
What a description. This smells like summer scoop. This smells like summer scoop from uh, Yankee Candle. Like really, really, really delicious vanilla based strawberry ice cream. I've stated it before. Summer Scoop is my favorite strawberry ice cream scent. Like, I love fresh picked strawberry. I love strawberry jam. I love a ton of strawberry scents. However, I love Summer Scoop the best. It just smells so good in the summertime. I don't think I would enjoy it in the winter, but like in the summer, it, it just screams summer. Oh, delicious strawberry ice cream. So, with that being said, I have an amazing Sassy Girl Aroma haul, as always. I love Sassy Girl Aroma. I share it all the time. Do I buy a lot of wax? Absolutely. I love it. It's my passion. I am quite successful in what I do. I have my own place. I have my own money. And I enjoy buying the wax to review for you guys and to enjoy in my beautiful new home. So, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Have an amazing day. You matter. And I love you all so much. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. They'll try. Don't let them. Bye, guys.